This is part two in our tutorial of how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. With Andre last time, you learned how to do the first two layers, or F2L. The second step is to do OLL, which also stands for orienting the last layer. So I'll just do OLL quick and show you what you have to get at the end of OLL. This means you've completed OLL. You have your first two layers and the opposite color on the bottom, all complete. Now, you will need to learn a few algorithms and there will be two steps to this tutorial. So the first step is to get this bottom green cross. Then you can worry about the corners, but for now we need to learn how to do the cross. In this case, I would just use the algorithm I'm about to teach you once, but there is a possibility you might need to use it two or three times. I'll just teach you the algorithm right now and I'll show you the different cases. So, if you get this case, where you only have one center and no edges, that means you'll have to do it three times. If you have this, you only have to do it twice. If you have a horizontal line, that means you only have to do it once. Now, the algorithm is, you do the front clockwise, so just like a clock, front, so that'd be F, then you do L, then you do D, L prime, D prime, and then F prime. And you should have to cross, depending on how many times you have to do it. You need to do it three times in this case. So, it doesn't matter where you start. You can just start here and use the algorithm. And then you'll get two adjacent edges. And now you'll have two that aren't matched up. Now, you put the two adjacent edges in the right side and the bottom side. So like this. So, when you look down, right, bottom. Now do the algorithm with the right and bottom. Down F, L, D, L prime, D prime, and then F. When you have a horizontal line, you want to do it so the line is horizontal, like I said. So not vertical. If you do it like this, it won't work. If you do it like this, horizontal, and use the algorithm, you should be done to cross. The next step is to get the corners correct. There are seven different cases you can get two of which are very easy. You just use the algorithm I'm about to teach you. But there is a case you'll get uh, the five others. What you're trying to do is get a fishy shape. So it sort of resembles a fish. Just remember the case if you don't see the fish. Just say this is the nose of the fish. And the, on the nose of the fish, there should be a green piece on the left or the right. In this case, it's on the left. But it can also be on the right of the fishy. Now, you can have different cases, just like this one where it's like two lines and one. You just have to learn where to use this algorithm I'm about to teach you on certain cases. Let's just do it from fishy. And the green pieces here, so we'll use this new algorithm. So it's just L, D, L prime, D, L, D, two, L prime. And when you have fishy and you do the algorithm, you should have all the green pieces done. The problem is, you won't always get the fishy. You might get something like this, just across and edges and corners. And there are five different cases, so I'll just try and go through them all. I'll just show you main cases. So there's a case where you can have a cross on the bottom, two green pieces, which are called headlights because they look like a car, headlights, and two away from each other, opposite. And then, in this case, you just use the algorithm the right hand, I taught you the left, you can also do it on the right, but if you do right, you have to go left instead of right when we went like that. So, if you want to do the right hand version, it's R prime, D prime. R, D prime. R prime, R, yeah, R prime, D two, and then R. And then you got the fishy. Another case you can get is this one. Now, you use the algorithm here. You can have all these except for two corners. The two corners are away from each other. I like to call this full chameleon because it sort of looks, resembles a chameleon. If you use the algorithm, down, right, up, right, down, right, right, up, then you should have fishy. Then you do it again on the right or left. In this case, it's the left. So down, right, up, right, down, right, right, then up. That's basically OLL. There will be five other cases. I won't go through them all because of time, but it's not that hard to figure them out. You just have to use the algorithm in different places. If you try it here, no, you didn't get fishy. Let's try it here instead. 
No, you didn't get fishy. It's just a trial and error kind of thing. If I were to go through all the cases, it would take too much time. And now, just do the algorithm once more on the fishy, and you're done OLO. The next step is to do PLO.